A Salford-born artist is displaying his work in an exhibition titled Man City and More at the Sports City Visitors Centre. The lifelong blue now lives near Berry, where he's been speaking to Ben Bland about being compared to Lowry, how painting has helped him get through tough times and how he got started. A photograph of my uh, son when he was about 10. Uh, and then I'd got some archive photographs that I'd taken 40 years ago of the back streets in Salford where I lived just before they knocked them down. And I used a combination of the two images and just did a painting to see how it would go and four prints. Well, the original and the four prints sold immediately. So there was something about them that people seemed to like. Some have compared you and said that in future people will look back and say, Chris Sims, he, he, he was the, the next Lowry. How, how do you feel about that description? Uh, well, mix, mixed feelings, really, because some people love Mr Lowry's work and some people hate it. I think anybody that's from Salford that's a painter is, one way or another, influenced by Mr Lowry. I have an artist friend and other friends who will say, I don't think you charge enough for your work. And I'll say, well, there's two things. One thing, I, I don't want to charge a lot of money and have them just stuck in my studio. It's no point. And secondly, because the people who have supported me have been from largely from Salford and Manchester. And with due respect, they, they don't necessarily have a lot of money in their pocket. So I don't charge a lot of money. Chris, you mentioned before um, that you've, you've had some, some difficult times um, in life. Uh, how has painting sort of helped? Has, has it helped in any way to, to, to get through the difficult times? You know, when I get up in the morning, I have to have uh, what they call a raison d'etre, uh, you know, a reason to get on with life. And uh, I, I don't wish to uh, harp on it, but the fact is, as you, as you know, and my, the people who are close to me know, I was unfortunate enough to, to lose both my children. Now, <clears throat> it, 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 it's taken some getting over, um, but my work has been my saviour, in a way, to be perfectly honest, because without it, I, I, I might have just given up. I'm a pretty strong person, but I think I might have just given up.